So um, our next segment is we're going to do a client spotlight. We are. And uh, today we have Tanisha Barrow. Tanisha is president and founder of Barrow Wise Consulting. Barrow Wise Consulting provides innovative solutions uh, in federal and commercial markets. The firm offers uh, high tech solutions without the risk of failure. Barrow Wise specializes in cybersecurity, identity management, AI, and many other service areas. Tanisha's company was founded in, in 2012 and is headquartered in Maryland and has offices in Chicago, Orlando, and San Diego. So over to you, Tanisha. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. From the start, ever since I turned 25, I wanted to start my own firm. I strategically met my career in which I would learn everything I needed to know to have a thriving firm, including starting a market from scratch, small, large business operations, tech and management consulting, and engagement best practices. I took those best practices and implemented them into Barrow Wise. Some of the challenges and lessons learned that I have faced include, uh, because of my knowledge of the business, I thought it would be easy. To much to my surprise, it has been a long road of lessons learned, challenges, and triumphs. Some of the challenges I needed to overcome included understanding the workload of a small business leader versus a large business leader, how to employ and lead a multidisciplinary workforce, understanding customer dynamics when delivering an engagement from a small business perspective and a large business perspective, relation dynamics of former partners would change as I became an entrepreneur, um, I had to get over my own ego and identify and improve my own shortcomings. Small businesses seem to be an easy target in this area, so I employed the best law firm. <laughs> we learned the hard way by trying to become an overachiever in some engagements. We now only perform the requirements of the contract. If the customer wants more, we require a modification. Another great lessons learned would include never take their word for it. Wait for the signed contract. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next one would include engage potential hires very early in the process. It's never too early to mentor and coach employees before they're put on as a full-time W-2. Don't be afraid to show and demonstrate the out-of-the-box solutions. It just may get a contract. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid of the pain of failure because the successes are exhilarating. So successes, we have our niche, helping organizations transform with emerging technologies. Utilizing our ingenuity, we develop many solutions that provide by patents. We prime all of our contracts and deliver utilizing our proprietary playbook. We work for large organizations with complex challenges, such as Navy, GSA, and Treasury. We work for the largest network globally, the largest cybersecurity program, and one of the world's largest payment processing organizations. Our results include delivering services to over 2 million users, 400 locations globally, and over 200 billion in financial transactions. Our customers have received cost savings of over 500 million per year. We have won over seven BPAs, multiple contracts, and now we're on our way to become a $60 million firm. Any questions? That's fantastic. Some incredible achievements there, Tanisha. It is, and it's been, a, it's been a great journey since the first time we met many years ago now. That's right, we met at Robin's Joy way back then. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Do we have any questions from our audience? If uh, if uh, Melissa or someone can check the chat uh, window, that'd be great as well. So some some really um, um, uh, you can I think now look back and laugh at it, but some great lessons learned, particularly the one about uh, uh, about you have to really wait for the signed contract. Yeah. <laughs> we love that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the other thing that I found interesting is, uh, and, and Tanisha, you, I, I just shot you an email in this regard about uh, contracts and the way they have a tendency to have scope creep and uh, you need to have an understanding of exactly what's called for so that uh, you make sure you're, you're getting those modifications when you need them. 
So I'll expect to hear from you in that regard, not too in the not too distant <laughs> Oh man. Peter, put the plaid suit away. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. We had a couple questions in chat. One was how has work been during COVID? Um, since COVID, we've actually been able to kind of create a better marketing strategy, think about PR, email marketing, social media. Also think about outsourcing, how we can improve proposals, graphics, all of our templates. So all of our engagements would work just that much better. We can gain some new clients without actually having to cold call them. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it's been good because usually we travel about 70% of the time if it wasn't COVID. So not traveling has allowed us to do um, more work. Do we have another question in the chat window, Maureen? Yeah, there was one more. It says, do you have life balance issues? <laughs> I don't have a life. What's that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the answer. <laughs> you have work. You have you. You know. You, I, you, you yeah, I have work, work, work and work. I, I have more work. Um, my husband understands that. I don't have any kids, so uh, Bear Wise is my child. <laughs> now that she is a preteen, or um, yep, preteen, I continue to nurture her until she turns into an adult. Thank you. I have a question for you, uh, Tanisha. So uh, you also have a number of other offices. Any any thoughts or lessons around you know how to how to manage um, your you know kind of your field offices? Because you know there's always that classic story that the people in the field office always feel underappreciated. <laughs> for sure. Well, I think the first thing to do is to make sure that your teams are engaged, and you can do that through weekly meetings, touch points, and then quarterly sessions throughout the year. I also used to travel to those different locations around every three months, but now I'm up here, so I haven't been there in a while. Um, we also used to have a Christmas party where we all get together and celebrate. Unfortunately, we haven't had that either. <laughs> um, so usually it's virtually, and then we monitor their work through our, um, we have some advanced systems that tell us the productivity of our consultants. <laughs> while they're in different locations. So that's become useful as well. Interesting, wow. But th thank you, Tanisha, so much for joining us and for sharing, uh, you know, basically your journey of how you created Burrow Wise Consulting. Yeah, great story. Yeah, very interesting. Thank you for having me. And, and you're welcome to stay on uh, till the end of the town hall. Please, please stay on if you can. <laughs>